Samwise Ganji, or than anyone, represents the ordinary man. If I take one more step, it'll be the farthest away from home I've ever been. Sam starts out at the beginning of the adventure, a, a very simple hobbit who is not too interested in faraway things or faraway places. But as the journey continues, Sam really has to struggle with figuring out what it means to help Frodo. Go back, Sam! I'm going to Mordor alone. Of course you are. And I'm coming with you! It's very much a master-servant relationship. And I'm sure Tolkien didn't have to think very hard about that relationship. He'd seen it hundreds of times in his life. Friendships between people of different social classes, interdependent. I made a promise, Mr. Frodo. A promise. Don't you leave him, Samwise Gamgee. And I don't mean to. I don't mean to. Frodo would not be able to get to Mordor and would not be able to actually complete his task of destroying this ring without Sam. We're not alone. Frodo is the ring bearer. He's the only one that can carry this ring. And yet, every footstep that he takes closer to Mount Doom, it's harder and harder for him. You can't take your eyes off it. I've seen you. You're not eating. You barely sleep. It's taken a hold of you, Mr. Frodo. And Sam, as his companion, can't physically take the ring off him and carry it himself. And therefore, the pressures on Sam start to increase. And Sam's purity, his courage, his commitment to Frodo is put under huge test. You miserable little maggot! Sam! I'll kill him! I'll kill him! You stand, Mark. We're lost! I don't care! I can't do it, Mr. Frodo. I won't wait around for him to kill us. I'm not sending him away. You don't see it, do you? He's a villain. We can't do this by ourselves, Sam. Not without a guide. I need you on my side. I'm on your side, Mr. Frodo. I know, Sam. I know. Trust me. When does the master-servant relationship become friendship? Through hardship, through suffering, Frodo and Sam are able to achieve a level of parity, a level of equality in their, in their relationship. Sam. I'm glad you're with me. Sam becomes Frodo's touchstone to reality, to normalcy, to decency, to goodness. As much as Frodo is the hero that he actually puts himself through what he does, it is Sam that maintains his own strength and, and clarity to allow Frodo to carry out that task. Nothing ever dampens your spirits, does it, Sam? Sam is an emblem of the nature of true friendship. He started out the film as Frodo's sidekick, and by Return of the King, he becomes the rock, the guy that drives him forward on their mission and actually takes on heroic proportions. <laughs> Sam will not give up on his friend. He just can't. It's just not in his nature. And as it turns out with Frodo and Sam, thank God for that bond and thank God for it being unbreakable. Because of it, together they are able to overcome an, an extraordinary evil. What are we holding on to, Sam? There's some good in this world, Mr. Furl. And it's worth fighting for. It is Sam who is chosen by Gandalf. It is Sam who supports Frodo after he gets the Morgul knife. Back, you devils! It is Sam who distrusts Gollum. He is, for me, the hero of the stories. The ordinary man.